It is that time of the year again. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the opener. The opener of this year's rendition of the four digit player tournament. Just after a spicy 4 CWC, we see a lot of similar faces coming back to prove themselves once again, this time in a single player solo tournament setting. Tonight, quite an early game for the weekend, we have CDB Sakamoto 1 of New Zealand taking on Eclipse, the 28 versus 37 seed. Wonderful, wonderful matchup we have here tonight. In such a tight pool, such a pool that players could FC or just miss so easily on. And two two players quite close in skill, actually, in Eclipse and CDB Sakamoto 1, both in the high 1k range. Playing it out today in the first game of the round of 64. Obviously, a late start just because of some technical difficulties, but we will also be getting POVs from both Eclipse and the CTV Sakamoto one. I think those are in the Discord bios if you're on the server. If not, if not, then just ask someone in chat. I don't know. They'll probably give it to you. A bit of a background before we start the game. Obviously, first round. Don't know much about these players. If you're new to the community, <clears throat> both players' strongest points throughout the qualifiers have been have been the mod, especially in the mod specific, and the. Uh, Quite average mod performances from the the two players, especially in such a competitive player pool throughout the qualifiers. Definitely, some some untapped potential we'll be able to see from these players just from looking at their qualifier results. It is quite a low star pool as well, so it's just a battle of consistency between between these two. Start with a warm up, I believe. Yes, this is the warm up, so time to peep a little showcase of skill from the two players. We'll see Eclipse Rock and Hidden. Something that might be might be common throughout the game, but we'll see. Definitely also shows that we might see a hidden pick this game. Definitely the map to warm up on. Player's not holding up holding up the best, I mean. A little bit of free camping from Eclipse to complete opposite end of the spectrum for CDB Sakamoto 1. Who I will now refer to as Oxy because that name's a bit too hard to say.
of the warm up over to now I forgot to mention there's one warm up today. So with that over, we will now move into the rolls and bands, which we're unable to see on this stream. However, as mentioned earlier, the two players are streaming, so we can see how it turns out from their ends. Oh, we're gonna. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah, chat's there. Chat, chat, and map, map over there. Gin, gin, there, 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 there. Gin, gin, there, there. If you're watching. Now now we see. Alright, so now we can actually see the rolls and bends from our from our perspective. It'll be interesting to see what players ban. I know I don't know one map's gonna get definitely definitely abandoned. As for the other one though, I think that just depends on who bans what. So strong, strong night even. from Takamata 1. And Eclipse, score that 7%. 93 or higher. Oh no, okay, yeah. Fuck was enough, but... Still a good roll. One first. Someone, someone's keen to play hidden two. I know I would be if I was playing. And as for Sakabata one, the basic white girl. Hidden 2 ban, we will see a lot this weekend. Can't say I'm the happiest about that one, but... Oh well, ban's a ban. And number 3, very first pick. The standard onvert consistency. Anime opening map. What? What a better map to represent the playstyle. Just a just a note. The only map that Oxy beat out Eclipse on was was that number no. three. A very very similar map. So I think this may be the one pick that heavily advantages CTV Sakamoto one. Banger, banger as well. Do not forget that one. Alright, the commander's in. First time this tournament. First map of the tournament. Let's see how this goes. Put the information on the screen already there for you. AR of 8.8, CS of 3.8. Quite a few spinners. Decent length of three minutes. So it is the battle of consistency. Who who is prepared? It's the very first map. And nerves definitely might begin. But it's such a basic basic pattern, basic playstyle. A lot of spinners, this is down comes down to who's 
mentally prepared and after that who who has practice the spinners actually. And that that may matter quite a lot this match. In my hopes that no one will miss before okay. I'll take that back. Mr. McClips will send the score Sakamoto's late as he reaches the two hundred. What are those odd slider patterns that you need to work out for in this map? Besides the gumps, it's some more what we sort of consistently like those patterns there. Which both players are able to catch. Eclipse reaches that 200, stopping that score bleed. The difference will stay the same for quite some time until we see, uh, see maybe a second of this. We'll need to hope that happens for Eclipse. However, Sakamoto one still on the roll, entering the second verse on an SD. coming in. Players playing safe, catching all the streams. Just staying strong right now. Ooh! Quite a controversial Mr. CDB Sakamoto one. That score will begin to flip towards Eclipse's way. Just drinking so slowly and that breaks on the common as well. Ooh, Eclipse misses as well. On the spinner, that will keep Sakamoto one up. Hopefully, until the end of the map. Two, two very nervous misses there. However, it's that consistency from earlier Sakamoto 1. Being able to reach God first as well is what determines the outcome of this map. Giving CDD Sakamoto 1. Actually, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that yet. There it is, the first point of the tournament to CDB Sakamoto 1 on his strength this game, no more 3. Despite a few few controversial lags bikes. There it is. His point. It was nervous misses out the way to begin with. I rock two straight away. Another, another quadrant actually, to go straight into. Another, maybe, not so accurate prediction based on qualifier results. Well, where is it? Hold up. Eclipse scored significantly higher than Sakamoto on this one, however, with an AR so low and at this point, at this point of the tournament, Hard Rock is basically just two more no ones. You really wonder who... It's just a bad look consistency and you know it's again. Who's practiced, who's... You know, just all that basic stuff. Being hidden, being allowed, it's time. I think Eclipse will definitely off the hidden seeing that that is what he did during the, the warm-up. Hey. There it is. Hit it on the side of the clips. Just hard rocking CDB Sakamoto on. Relatively forgiving CS here at 1.6, the AR is 9.7, so definitely higher end here. 
also very early, early break here. To practice being in the same club that hit his brain nuts. Both players definitely maintaining their consistency here, so it's a factor that's getting their screens in one spot. We see that earlier, we look at you use like a minor one, a bit of a flex. School is just looking side to side. I think it's very right even now, despite the spinner, I believe, was so earlier. Oh, nervousness, Eclipse. That's the second one this game. Definitely not far enough into this match to take those minutes off. While we still see an SS and CDs like a model one entering that last quarter of the map. Will there be another nervousness this time from the side of the like Mono one? Or is the score seven stone? Is the result what it looks? Not enough time, one last spinner, but that one miss definitely determined it. Another point from the lower C, ZD Sakamoto 1. That's the that's the joy and the wonder of such early stages. So you can see, see if I just swing side by side, the scores go to the lower seed players just because the pool is so easy and everyone is at this point expected to FC. Reminder that a lot of players have already knocked out, so the best 64 have made it to this point. Definitely interesting seeing outcomes like this. The pick will go back to CD, Sakamoto 1. After taking his run point and a break point. Definitely expect that no mod forward pick coming. However, uh, there are still some valid options in the pool. CDB Sakamata picks Hard Rock 2. <laughs> A lovely pick from CDB Sakamata 1. Alright, nah, that's like the Hard Rock 1. That is not Hard Rock 1, I just can't see the exclamation mark here. <laughs> A bit of confusion from CDD Sakamoto 1. Unsure of what's a specific and what's a convert, but then again, that just proves that you when know, at this stage, everything is quite similar. All just low SI, low SI mod picks. You know, I could throw a, I could throw a convert into a specific. All of these people are thinking that it's a actual specific, but that's apart from the point. We'll see Hard Rock One. Obviously, the CDB Sakamoto One here, a lot more mentally prepared. One, one less nervousness. However, he's just in that in that zone right now. FC coming off an FC. Eclipse will want him to redeem himself, hopefully, looking for an FC now. This time the Hard Rock knocks down the CS and AR quite a bit though, so this is quite a bit easier than the other map. Circle size of 3.6, almost combo a uh, no more pick, and then AR of 9.5, so still a little bit on the high end, but definitely preferable for some of the no more players here. Observable control patterns as players maintain consistency. FC the first third of the map. Then comes that question once again: Who's gonna who's gonna piss themselves first? Who's gonna make a bad move? 
Okay, so I've looked at this first. We may not find the answer to that question. We might see two SEs. Except Eclipse just has that slightly less accuracy advantage, but that will matter quite a bit. Especially in hard rock where score is multiplied. Every miss even at that point, the droplets matter just so much. Of the map. We have to come on both players' sides. Will the spinner save the clips? Will a miss save the clips? Will a miss save Sakamoto 1? Just a little bit of time left to figure that one out. SC at the end. This spinner matters. Who's gonna take it? Sakamoto won by 100. No, not yet. Yeah, 100 points. This is the slightly better spinner and slightly better accuracy. Reiterating the fact that every little. Like anything that isn't a big circle basically matters just so much. There it is. Three points up Sakamoto won. Taking his point once again, both hard rock picks on this side, so you wouldn't expect it, he just relied on the qualifier as well. So, so tight to throw the If an FC on Eclipse's side, maybe, maybe he is, he is ready right now, maybe he is ready to take off get back on his feet and take a few points from Sakamoto 1. No mod 2, I shall reiterate, in no mod 2 of the qualifiers, Eclipse was a third of the 100 so players that played it. So, definitely worrying a bit about the CD Sakamoto 1 here. However, I'll say again, the SR is like, what, 2, like, 3.74, everyone should FC this map. How ready you are, and I think based on the, the technical skill set of Eclipse, maybe he is that guy, maybe he is finally ready, and maybe we might see the one for him. Or we would expect it since it was his pick, but who knows? We've seen a few incredible scores this game already. Off we go. Two minutes of control. Jumpy specific. Okay, one miss. So CV Sakamoto already. Already one, one dodgy jump. It's not gonna matter. No, that will matter quite a bit actually. That might even just determine how the game goes. That how the point goes. Yes, spacey, spacey wide jumps. Might drop some players, but back on the splitting one for the combo and Eclipse still on the FC. There it is, first few patterns good. Cut off these players, but first. So it's still pretty consistent in their footing. So you can up to ice the cake on those spins. There it is, a 10k score difference just, just from that one miss. Again, it, just, it matters so much. See that combo difference really quick. This it's like not even not even five. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's that's just another nervous miss, but just missed. Boys, just flip off. It goes Sakamoto's way. Another miss. Dreams. 
definitely reassuring Sakawada's stance in this game. Oh, another one that's you know, look at that score, see that it's a bit too late. I don't even want to call it. That is, that is an FC. If I'm stuck on my one, I'm just ignoring that loss. I mean, it's a point is a point. However, Eclipse just is getting nervous towards the end. Finding bad misses and bad spots. Definitely the point where you can throw players off it. Sakamoto wants to know, I'm gonna catch these three, I'm gonna not miss again like I did earlier. I don't know, that, that might have been what was going through his mind, I can't, can't be certain though. That's quite um, You can see, you can see how, how confusing these matchups get in round 64. Some upsets, we might, we might see it right now. Once again, another one of those typical just low SR mod picks. CS of 3, so the circles are gonna be in your face. Might be the last pick of the game after dominating performance of CT Sakamoto on his, his pick as well, so definitely might see a master pass from him. I hope that wasn't that wasn't this. Another one that he might it might be a review to have a last game, who knows? Oh there you go. First is an eclipse's way. So one miss a piece. Face with a 200. A 40k score gap to recover from the uh, But you can't do much more than the idea, so it's a bigger score. What we need to see is a miss. Not from a clip, but from CP Sakamoto like one, that's not gonna happen. Players will take a rest, see the score. Sakamoto one knows he's holding on the combo, he needs to keep holding on. Eclipse sees that, he needs to just also hold on, but in his mind, try to Sakamoto one misses. Um, I don't know what's happening there. Technical difficulty, or is that, is that Bancho, or is that him? I not No, he's he's dodging the beat. <laughs> he's dodging. He knows. He knows he's done. Oh, uh, I'm missing a second one. One there, but who knows if Eclipse Eclipse didn't dodge the beat? Who knows? But there it is. The first super. The first super upset of the tournament, a full sweep from Sakamoto once and despite being a lower seed, way to end out the match, a rather good game, well played for both players, not the ending we hope to see, but 
then it's Sakamoto on move on. We're not getting the next round, but both players are playing next week in the round of 32, so good luck to both of them there. Thank you to the 28 people who joined today. Hopefully, get to join us tomorrow to see a few more, a few more games. Hopefully, closer than this one here. I am E Wong. Thank you again for helping out. Nothing again today, and I am out.